When I'm out and working on the go, I am doomed to having at all times two devices with me, a phone and a tablet. And for a long time, I've been desperate for a solution which would allow me to at least leave the phone at home. Now there are several solutions out there and today's is one of them. I'm Anton Dinaj, this is Pocket Now, and you're watching the ASUS PhonePad unboxing. Let's go check it out. At the end of the day, there are only two types of people. Those who dismiss the idea of a tablet having an earpiece right from the start, and those who, well, are like me and prefer this. This is the box of the ASUS PhonePad with a nice image on the front and the ASUS branding on the bottom. Nothing else special. We have a picture of uh, the device's side and uh, that's really it. There are two color options. We have the gray one and on the back we have some callouts which are pretty much the only callouts for for the specs as we can see here this is powered by an Intel Atom Z2420 processor which is the Intel Lexington platform it's got 1 gig of RAM 16 gigs of storage of course wireless Bluetooth and all the usual stuff but um, let's go ahead and unbox it with the uh, obligatory not scissors this time but the knife so let's jump in and pop open the box. It should slide out nice and easy. And put the top to the side. We are greeted with the phone pad itself on the top, as you'd expect. We'll put that to the side too and see what we have here. As usual, we have lots of literature, which is uh, black and white, not really interesting. More literature. Then we have a uh, micro USB to USB syncing and charging cable. Very, very interesting. Alongside with a uh, wall wart. A charger which is as you can see with a European plug everything is awesome let's put everything to the side and take a look at the phone pad itself this is it let's take a quick look around the device real quick right on top we have what's probably the main biggest selling point of the device it's the uh, earpiece because this tablet acts as a phone right next to it there's the uh, 1.3 megapixel camera and uh, the biggest part on the front is the screen which is a 7 inch screen with a 800 by 1280 resolution and on the bottom you can see the ASUS logo and nothing else and of course there's nothing else on the right side but the left side has a power button and your volume rockers and while we're at the back you'll notice that there's no camera on the back the back is completely aluminum and being called out right here is the Intel inside because this tablet is powered by an Intel Atom Z2420 processor which is also known as the Lexington platform. Well we're gonna line up these devices for a quick comparison against the Nexus 7 and the iPad mini I should tell you that uh, the, the phone pad rocks one gigabyte of RAM and it is powered by a 40 to 70 milliamp hour battery the processor is single core but we'll see how well this will perform because Intel says that it is built for Android now comparing it to the Nexus 7 you can see that these two are not only siblings they are twins and that's because Asus made the Nexus 7 and Asus is also making the uh, phone pad in terms of thickness they are eh, not necessarily approximately the same but they are exactly the same and uh, while the Nexus 7 has a plastic back the has an aluminum back pretty much like uh, Apple's mini iPad mini which is also aluminum but the differences stop there because the iPad mini is much 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 thinner as you can see now let's put it down and start our first boot to uh, finish up this video power button huge vibration feedback right there and as you can see the ASUS logo backed up by the Intel inside logo on the bottom nice ASUS animation and this should bring us right to the uh, setup screen and there we go That's it for today everyone, make sure to continue watching Pocket Now because there's more coming of the ASUS phone pad including comparisons and the full review. Follow Pocket Now on all the usual social media channels. I've been Anton Dina, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, till next time.